time has come for us to witness a once in a 75 year hatching of the elusive Ferratorto worm. When it finally awakes, it mates with and eats all it sees. The time has come! Hello and welcome back to the Unnatural History Show with me, Ross Noble. Today is a very exciting day for us as we are sending our team into the hatch site of the elusive Ferratoto worm and hopefully we should be able to get a glance of something that no hubo or human has seen in 75 years. I am joined today, as always, by my co-host and partner in crime. We the hubo are without guilt. We are a creed of honor, and any large char or child that were to commit a crime against their fellow hubo would have to sacrifice themselves and face death for what they have done. If I had committed a crime, I wouldn't be here with you. I would be dust swirling in the winds of time. Okay, uh, it was more of a figure of speech, you know, like, like saying uh, other half instead of wife. Don't. I do not want people to misunderstand and think that we are married. And the term of the half is deeply offensive to the darn people of Kikiatat. As proud half people, it implies that they are less than others. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. It's just like a different way of saying something. You know, it makes no odds to me. It's, you know, like six or one and or not, as, as the case may be. Anyway, please welcome my co-host, Professor Shania Coddle. Anyway, it's, it's wonderful to have you here to keep us informed of all of the events as they unfold. Uh, perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about the team that we've assembled. Okay, perhaps you could tell us even if you don't like to. Very well. We have a crack unit for this dangerous mission. Or should it be, we have a unit of dangerous crackpots for this mission? <laughs> We have Filmbot, who is a nanny droid you got on the cheap. Reprogrammed, repurposed, and raring to go. He will be filming the Ferratoto as it hatches. The Ping Bob we know as Barry will be hand warming a glavin to feed the beast before it sucks the energy out of Grud Grunson, who has generously agreed to be mated with. Let's not dwell on that now, shall we? Let's chat to the team. The spirits are bound to be high and the adrenaline must be pumping. Hi, chaps. How did it come to this? All I wanted was a nice new family for me to look after. I am a great one, nanny bot, and instead I ended up here. You know what, Filmbot? You always wanted a family, and maybe that's what you've got with these guys. The family you were looking for was right here all the time. Ah. Oh, do shut your face, you insufferable prick. I don't see you joining us on the walk to almost certain destruction. Almost. What? Nothing. Professor, do you think you could ask Grud how he's feeling? He says that he's quietly optimistic about what is about to happen and thinks that his sacrifice is worth it in the advancement of understanding the world around us. The efforts of the part affect the whole and we are all part of the whole. Is that what he really said? I am paraphrasing. Okay. Well, we wish you all well. This simple mission could teach us so much. It'll definitely end uncertainty. It will definitely end badly. What? Nothing. Okay, let's take a look at some of your messages, shall we? Uh, Maggie says, uh, what if everybody at the hat site is horribly... Oh, never mind. Uh, John says, uh, if the whole team are violent... Oh, no. Uh, not that one. Um, Peter, he says... In the inevitable event that the horrific carnage that we're about to witness... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Lucy says, Ross, where did you get your shoes? All oh, right, thank God for that. Uh, I actually got, I don't know, the, uh, the wardrobe department got them for me, but I can report they're very comfy and there's no chaffing or blistering at all. Anyway, uh, the time has come for us to start our journey. Our journey? Dig head. Our brave team are on their way. Fire up the cameras. I say, would you mind awfully carrying this gravin for me? It's only small and it's way too heavy for me. 
Well, yes, I suppose I could. My hands are very small. <laughs> you will be in no state to do it yourself after the worm has done its worst. <laughs> no chance. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> All right. I will do it for $30. $30. $20. $50. $50. Fifteen and you have a deal. <laughs> Done. And the same to you, old chap. <laughs> Well, this is it. No turning back now. Hang on. We could just turn back. Why aren't we just turning back? Join us for our last instalment where we'll hopefully get to see history happen. The first ever live televised hatching of the Ferratoto worm. My thanks to the professor and to the team, and we'll see you all next time for the last time. Definitely the last time. What? Nothing. Goodbye. <laughs>